Hello everyone, and welcome to my VMA round 7 guide, aka the most annoying round. So before you go into here, make sure to swipe your credit card with Zoss for extra RNG rolls. So our key threats in this round are trolls, archers, and venom callers as well as these little annoying things. So we, okay. If an archer goes like that, you need to immediately interrupt, otherwise he will fire a one-shot ability at you. Same with that, get out of that, or it will detrimentally slow you and deal an immense amount of damage over time. So it's going like this. Bash and interrupt him. Also, be very careful where you're. No, 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 no. Okay. Where's the venom collar? Oh, he's not up. That was bad RNG. See, I told you. Swipe with sauce RNG. I didn't. And I'm dying already. So, if you get near those, they're gonna unleash a, a tiny. There's gonna be a red dot. Red AoE that appears around them. Red circle. You need to dodge roll out of that as soon as possible. If you don't, you will get a dot that deals about 7,000 damage to your health every second. Even with the defense sigil, healing sigil, vigor, and critical surge, and bloodthirst, you can't heal through it. If you do stand on one of those, so I'm going to stand in this one. If you do stand in one and get hit with a poison, get into one of these green pools to cure it from yourself. If you can survive long enough to get in there. Also, make sure not to pull enemies into the water, as they will gain 100% damage immunity while in the water. So trolls are annoying, just make sure, kill. Alright, right here we have Venom Callers. These guys need to die quickly, because they will cause all the explosive, all the poisonous spores on the map to blow up at an increased rate, and will basically, basically, all of them will go off no matter how close you are to them, and at an increased rate that makes it impossible to dodge them. Plus, he gives you a weakness to poison, so the dot is up to about 10,000 a second. Venom shots here. There's going to be two of them. Simple dot. Right here, a Wamasu is going to spawn, so what I do is I grab Offensive Sigil. Grab Offensive Sigil, there's a Venom Caller up, so I'm going to pop a Potion, because I'm going to Stam, kill him. Wamasus are bad. They deal tons of damage, try and dodge roll through it, and stay behind it. Oh no, I'm hit with Poison. See, I was lucky, I had my Defensive Sigil up, and I reduced it to the point where I actually survive it. So for here... Round four, Venom Caller. And note the spawns for these are all random, and which corners they will appear in is all random. So they could spawn directly on you, or they could spawn super far away from you. There's a. So after this part, the key thing is for this part here, second pull on fourth round, grab them all up around the defensive sigil. I'll show you why. Right after I kill this guy, three archers are going to spawn, plus you're going to have a poison guy. So the defensive sigil will reflect their arrows back at them.
Now there's gonna be two trolls here. Troll, so many trolls. So we died at the end of that round due to annoying trolls. So for here, I'm going to take out the archer. Once again, grab everything up on the defensive sigil. Get Vigor off. I'm so low. I'm so close to dying. Now we grab the defensive sigil. So we're gonna have a Venom Collar up here. Make him dead. Ah, ah, ah. The only time that that will ever reflect is if you have the defensive sigil up. And it will actually one-shot the... Actually, I didn't know that. Wow, I learned something. So what I'm going to do with these trolls here is I'm just going to gather them up in the middle. Dawnbreaker. Get the scale collar. We're going to do the advanced heal up mode thing. And dead. Final round, boss round. So we're gonna start here with DPSing him. Once again, priorities for this round, we're gonna be making sure we get those Venom Collars down. And there's also gonna be Shock Miners we have to deal with, but they're gonna require a little bit of a different strategy. So try and not keep your Hurricane and Blade Cloak up. I, I, I have nothing to survive that. I had nothing to survive that with, and was hit with like four knockbacks. Lovely. Thanks, Zoss. All right, so start this round off again. Make sure to not refresh your hurricane and blade cloak timers. I'll show you why here in a minute. So we have a shock miner up. We're gonna kill one of them. Remember yeah. that number one. So after this, he's gonna begin doing a screen. We're gonna have to go stand over at the other storm caller within his barrier. Oh no, oh no, I hit Hurricane. After his screech is done, we can kill him. The reason being is if we're not in that, while he does his screech, it one-shots. So I'm going to grab both the defense and offense sigil. I did the wrong thing, and we're just going to burn. That concludes round 7, which in my opinion is one of the most annoying.